Welcome to Heroes and Villains Brewery in the Swan Valley. We're here today with owner and brewer Shannon. Welcome Shannon. Hi, thanks. Now you've uh, started brewery, brewing a year ago. Uh, many people would say you're living the dream. Are you living the dream? Oh uh, look, I would say mostly. It's a, it's a much more intense dream than I expected to have. But yes, yes, definitely living the dream. Now, we would need to get down to these beers. So, yep. the first beer um, that you put out onto the market, and I know it's one of your favourite, Beer of the New Age. How did that come about? Well, that came about from, should we have a taste? Absolutely. Yeah, so that came about from um, trying a, a new hops called Fortnite, which is a blend of five um, different hop plants together, and trying a new process for brewing at the same time as well as listening to a brand new album from my favourite band. Those combinations came up, gave me the idea of Beer of the New Age. And why is it your favourite? I know you've only used the Fortnite hops in this beer. Um, what is it about this beer that you like and you think the punters will like? Yeah, look, I think it's a, it's a really nice rounded kind of flavour. Nice and tropical, which is, um, which is easy to drink and sessionable. So you can sit on these all day responsibly. So the beer of the new age is one of your hero beers. Yep. Tell us about the villain beer that you've got out at the moment. All right, well our first villain beer is a gingerbread beer and this is to celebrate Christmas. And what I thought was I wanted to make a gingerbread man in liquid form so that we could um, celebrate all the fun that comes from a gingerbread man and from yep. gingerbread beer. So give it a taste. It's a very different taste, and that's because you've used the different hops? Uh, this one I've used different hops, different yeast. Um, the base of this is a French style yeast um, called a Saison or a French style beer. And then I've added a whole heap of spices, the kind of spices that you actually get in the gingerbread man yeah, to wow. give it that extra flavour. Yeah, you, can, you can actually taste that gingerbread flavour. Yeah, and so I tried to get the colour as well of the yeah. gingerbread man. Now, you're going to have uh, all your beers down at the Sunset Wine and Brews on February 9 and 10. Yes. And do you have anything, a bit of a surprise for any, anyone or, or have you got any new villains coming out? I do. It's perfect timing um, because Valentine's Day is coming up and uh, one of the greatest bones of contention in my house is the amount of times I've told my wife that I almost bought her flowers. So I've made a red IPA, um, which I've called I Almost Bought Your Flowers. <laughs> and it's uh, to celebrate, celebrate Valentine's Day, it's got a nice earthy hops to it and a nice red colour. Um, for the flowers that we all should have bought each other. I reckon there'll be a lot of men scrambling for that one. So get down to the Sunset Wine and Brews on February 9 and 10 uh, to taste some of Shannon's beers and plenty more on the day.